Today we will demonstrate how to do a pole set. So first I will demonstrate and then we will break it down. Okay, so there are many variations for a pull set, but first I will show you your most basic option. Don't overthink it. First, bring your chest to the pole. Keep your elbows in, hands in front of the face with a nice little strong hold grip here. And then kind of just hop on the pole. As you do so, keep one hip slightly higher than the other. And on that same side of the hip that's higher, crunch through those obliques to lift that hip higher. What that will allow you to do is keep one leg a little bit higher than the other so that it'll lock you better in place and you'll have even more um, skin contact on the pole to keep you in place. So chest to the pole, nice strong hold. Lift up one hip, hop on like so. So see, my right leg is above my left and I'm also leaning over to put more of the pull into my top leg. Some people like to grip the ankles together, to squeeze the knees together, to tighten up that pull sit and get a better grip and to help activate those inner thighs even more. That may be helpful for you. To dismount, pull chest to pull and bring the legs down. Great, so if you do it on the other side, it will be very similar. Bring chest to pull. I will think about bringing my left leg higher now so that the pull will lock more into that top leg and I will lean to my opposite side to the right in order to lift my left leg higher and crunch my oblique to lift that hip up. So belly to pull, hop on, lock the legs together, leaning over to the side. Okay, a couple tips here that may help you. Sometimes it's helpful to think about internally rotating the legs and squeezing every part of your legs together when you're first learning. Over time, you can start to separate the legs a little bit to get a different style with it. And you can bend legs to get a little style. I'll show you some of those options. So you can Bend a leg, separate the legs. But see how I'm still leaning over to one side? This helps lock the pole in that top leg. Most of the time I see people not leaning nearly enough. They think they're leaning, they're like over here. But you really wanna lean significantly, so much so that it does start to lift your opposite leg. So do a little drill, stand still, hold your pole. Start to lean to one side. As you lean to one side, do you notice how one leg starts to lift off the ground at some point? It has to. So that's a good tip to where you need to lean your pole sit. So pay attention to when you start to have to lift that leg. So as you lean, Oh, right there, that's when my legs started to lift off the ground. So that's about how far I know I'll have to lean for a pull sit to get a nice secure hold. So try that, that might help you out a lot and help actually make it less painful and help it feel much more secure so that you can start playing with the leg variations. I'll do it one more time just to show you. I'll get a little climb. See how far I'm leaning? But my arms are still elbows in. My arms are still engaged for safety when I'm learning. And then chest to pull to dismount. Hope that helps you. That is how we do a pole sit.